Hello everybody, Scott Golden here as we continue our Life Lesson series. Uh, welcome to those of you who are new. We've got almost 800 of these available for your listening pleasure in a variety of topics. We try to update this as many times per week as possible. The last few days have been busy, so I haven't been here as much. But uh, with 800 pieces of content, certainly something you can check out. I uh, hope you're finding things well. In any event, if you're looking for life relationship or business coaching or maybe changing of habits, coaching in that area, we'd love to be of assistance to you. Please feel free to reach out. There's a couple ways to do that at the About Me section of this YouTube page or at PO Perception on Twitter. Either one will get you in contact with me or a member of my team. Things are picking up nicely here in the summer of 2021, but would love to be of assistance to you if we can uh, in 2021 and beyond. Um, and so uh, this is our life lesson series. First thing is there is no such thing as universal perfection. So perfect to you and perfect to someone else could be completely different. Perfect to you and perfect to somebody else could be completely opposite of each other. Your versions of perfect can be different and you both can be your version of right. That's why striving to be perfect is actually relatively useless because at the end of the day, there's always going to be something you can improve, always going to be somewhere you can grow and always somewhere you've kind of maxed out for the time being. It is much better to look at life as a step-by-step -step linear process, finding ways to connect with the idea of how can I move forward on a continual basis, day by day, week by week, month by month, is a much more great and, and useful approach to daily living. Um, living in a step-by-step -step mindset also gives you the power to live more authentically, powerfully, and responsibly, and responsibly to the needs of those around you as well as to yourself. Understanding that controlling your mind and interrupting negative patterns is essential to living in a healthy and productive life is important. Understanding what your triggers are to, that sends you backwards, either emotionally, mentally, or in terms of energy level. Um, finding a way to identify those things without being too harsh on yourself, but being harsh enough to commit to behavioral change if you want it. Ultimately, it's completely a waste of energy and time to say you want something and then do nothing with it. So seeking out counseling, uh, a psychologist, psychiatrist, coaching, some form of assistance in the process of identifying these things and then finding uh, ways to ultimately um, connect with a deeper a deeper way and a deeper level is super, super valuable and ultimately um, kind of make things go in a direction that is progressive. Take time for energy reboots. Now, this could be time to rest and time to recharge, time around people socially to feel like you're connected, time to reflect on the benefits and beauty of nature or other beautiful things in your life. Finding ways to find beauty in the day-to-day -day living process is essential, especially with all of the chaos and stress that most people, may <coughs> at least many people, are going through on a continual basis. And so finding that way to identify ways to see beauty and re replenish ener <coughs> excuse. <coughs> Excuse me, energy is important. And no, I'm not uh, stopping the recording because guess what? I'm human and human beings have uh, involuntary bodily functions like coughing. And so whereas other people would um, try to perfect their audios, I'd rather appear human and letting people know that there is no weakness in being human. I think people have gotten to a point where uh, looking a certain way matters more to them than appearing human. The next is stop complaining. So there are negative things in the world and while processing them is important, becoming consumed with processing them is in fact a useless endeavor because that won't eliminate the need for uh, reacting to negative things in the future. It won't really make you feel better long term. If you think you've eradicated one thing, there'll always be another at some level. And in the end of the day, you've got to find a way to manage your time better to be able to focus on progress ra <coughs> rather than the things that are wrong in the world on a day-to-day -day basis. 
The next thing to consider is understanding that time management is important for the sake of accomplishment in a both here and now and, and long term paradigm, finding a way to improve your skills in every area of your life be they socially, emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever have you, on a consistent basis is also important because that is a way that you can guarantee yourself a level of personal satisfaction that will lead you to peace when you're reflecting back on your life in a few years to a few decades. If you're, never, if you're not finding a level of peace, then uh, ultimately it can be challenging to find a sense of internal balance. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.